Welcome to Kiel. Thank um, you. May I ask, have you gotten used to being ambassador to, to Germany and what do you want to achieve for the relationship between Germany and the U.S.? Well, I certainly have not gotten used to it. Uh, I, I love being here. Um, as you know, I'm traveling all over Germany and I think this is an amazing country. Um, I think my goal is just to deepen the ties between the U.S. and Germany in, in new ways, not in the, the traditional ways that we think about. Um, we are very close friends, Germany and the United States. We have deep ties. Uh, there are deep ties with Americans in the Midwest. And so I think it's my goal just to remind people that we are friends, that we, ha we share a lot, but that we do have differences and there are some things that we have to work on. And how would you explain to us the relationship between Merkel and Trump? Do they exchange a lot? What's their connection? How do they get along? You know, I, I've seen them interact, and I think President Trump respects Chancellor Merkel incredibly because when he looks across the table at Chancellor Merkel, he sees someone who has literally led the largest economy in Europe. And for President Trump, he, he likes to concentrate on jobs and the economy and development. And so I think there's a great respect. You're big on Twitter, uh, and I just saw the last couple of days you tweeted about Merkel's visit to Israel, which was an important yeah. visit for any German chancellor, and about the Iran sanctions. Uh, and the Jung Union is talking about anti-Semitism this weekend, an important yeah. topic, especially for Germans <clears throat> in Germany. Um, wh what do you think uh, in terms of the Iran sanctions and Germany and the U.S. working together on a, on a common position there? Um, are, we, are you getting closer? or uh, how big are the differences between Germany and the U.S. there? Well, you know, the one thing that's really important to remember is that the, the Europeans and the Americans, the Germans and the Americans, <clears throat> absolutely have the same goal when it comes to Iran, which is to deny this regime a nuclear weapon, to do everything that we can to, to uh, starve them of the money that they would use To, to further malign activities throughout the region. I think some of the problems in Syria that we've seen are directly the result of Iran's uh, kind of uh, offense in the region. So I'm, I'm trying to um, remember and remind Americans and remind Germans that the Europeans and the Americans share the exact same goal. We just have a little different view on the tactic. And that's, we believe that the JCPOA isn't strong enough that you could follow the letter of the law of the J JCPOA and you would still allow Iran to have a uh, path to a nuclear weapon. So we're trying to deny that. Okay. I would have one last question. Sure. I, I don't know if you can answer it as ambassador because um, uh, it, it's about it's about the U.S. It's just because uh, about the Supreme Court process right now in Germany. Uh, people hear about it and it's special. The Supreme Court. We don't have a process selecting members uh, like you do in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, can you explain to us how important is a process like this picking? a new member of the Supreme Court and what's going on these days? It's incredibly important. Uh, we have a, a very loud and messy process to, to get to that approval. And, and I think that's uniquely American. We, we like to have loud and messy processes to approve uh, someone who would have a lifetime uh, appointment. Thank you, Mr. Messer. Nice to see you. Thanks. Thanks for taking the time. Of course. Thank you.